Hey everybody, how's it going? Hey, you've got a piece of gear that you can't log into. For whatever reason, you bought it used, you come into a job, the documentation's bad, there's no passwords to be found to this router or this firewall, and you need to get into that thing now. Well, here's how to break into a uh, Juniper device. We'll use an SRX 300 as our example, and here's how to password recover the root account. All right, so here we go. First of all, you got to have physical access to the device. Either that or somebody's got to plug a console port into a console server that you can get to over, over an IP network such that you can access that console port. So you got to get access to that console port, okay? Plug into the port labeled console. Uh, it's an RJ45 port. Don't mistaken some of your RJ45 Ethernet ports for the console port. It should be clearly identified. Sometimes there's a smaller mini serial port on there, a mini USB. I haven't tested with that, but I have used the RJ45 console port. So use that one. Once you plug in that console, uh, I'm going to show you real quick. Some of these newer laptops uh, over the last few years don't come with a DB9 serial port. Some of the older computers have them or other laptops that have more legacy types of interfaces on them might have a DB9 9-pin D connector for serial. But some of the newer laptops have USB only. I'm going to show you real quick. In a Windows environment, this is what you will see. This is your device manager. There's nothing here that speaks of uh, LPT or COM ports. Okay? Now, when you plug in the USB port, you will see device manager refresh and there we go right here we have the ports com usb to serial com port com3 so now you have the information that you need to proceed with configuring your terminal emulator like putty TerraTerm, any kind of uh, moby x term whatever kind of uh, terminal emulator software you use to handle console configuring a device and that's what you need you need to have that com port uh, number so that you can carry out this next step in the process so here we go we are on putty i've got com3 selected here now when you click on this if you do not get a prompt then something's wrong. You're going to have to go into settings and go into something related to the serial connection and you need to have these settings. 9600 for speed, baud or bits per second, data bits 8, stop bits 1, and parity and flow control none. Once you have that correct, you should have a login prompt. Now here's where the problem is. We don't know the root password. See, we can't log into this thing. So you need to have someone on site reboot this device if you have a remote console to it. Or if, it's, or if you're local to it, you need to power it off. And I will show you the next step. So while this thing is booting up, you are looking for a message to interrupt the boot sequence. Not the first message, but it's the second one. So not here. Do not hit any key to stop auto boot. Wait until the next opportunity when it says, uh, you'll see it in just a second. It is right there. So hit enter to boot immediately or space bar for command prompt. So that's what you wanted. You wanted to hit the space bar. You're gonna have to have your finger on the spacebar key ready for that message to pop up. Once it pops up, hit the spacebar, you're good to go. Now, we need to boot into single user mode with boot-s and let it run. Now, when you get to this message, it literally tells you what to do next. It says, uh, type recovery for root password recovery. So we type recovery and away it goes. Now at this point, it's starting command line interface and you are presented with an operational mode prompt. 
go into config mode, set system root authentication, plain text. Set your password, commit your change. So it is now completed the commit of the configuration. We exit out of config mode. We exit out of operational mode, and there you go. It's asking to reboot. So go ahead, let the system reboot, and you have now completed the root password recovery. I'll add this, that Junos and Junos Evolved, different platforms also, may have different processes. Um, I have heard that, that they, they may be a little bit different. I've only verified it in within uh, FreeBSD Junos uh, on the SRX 300. And so uh, be aware of that. Another thing that I understand that some SRXs blow away the configuration and remove all the logs when doing the root password recovery. I did not see that that is true in the SRX 300, but be aware of that on other SRXs that you may lose the config. Uh, if so, hopefully you have a backup of the config. All right. Hey, hopefully this was helpful to you in your pursuit of network knowledge. If you... Um, like what you're getting from this channel, subscribe. You'll get updates as I post new videos. Share it with others that you think will benefit from this content. And until next time, thank you.